Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today we will continue our lecture on chapter three. Okay, the application of evolutionary algorithms into the power system problems. So, firstly, we will look at the problems of the power system. Okay, the economic dispatch problem. I hope that you all have learned about economic dispatch during your undergrad. So, uh, the outcome is uh, the outcome of this uh, topic or this chapter is that you all can understand what is the economic dispatch problem is all about and the theory. Next, the theory of genetic algorithms and how we want to implement the GA to solve the ED problem using MATLAB. So, as introduction, uh, economic dispatch involves uh, the power generation and delivery which uh, economic operation can be involving the power generation and delivery that we can be subdivided into two parts. The first one is to deal with the minimum cost or sometimes we call it economic dispatch. And we deal with the minimum loss delivery of the generated power to the loads. Okay, basically when you reduce the cost, your loss as well can be reduced. Okay, in practice, in power flow analysis, there are many choice of setting the operating points of generators. So basically, we know that our power, the system that you have learned in the power system uh, analysis, you, you learn using the load flow analysis. So the problem is, uh, the power plant are not located at the same distance from the loads, thus the power plant use the different types of fuels, which vary in cost from time to time. So interconnected system, the objective is to find the real reactive power scheduling so as to minimize some operating costs or cost functions. So the factors of influencing the minimum cost generation of power generation is the operating are the operating efficiency of prime mover and generator, the fuel cost and the transmission loss. So the most efficient generator is in the system does not guarantee the minimum cost due to due to the location may be located in the area with a high fuel cost or may be located far from the load center and the transmission losses are high so the problem is to determine the generation at different plants to minimize the operating cost is called economic dispatch so when we talk about economic dispatch normally we will we will uh, study about the uh, fuel cost curve basically the heat rate curve as well as the full fuel cost curve is interrelated because your heat rate curve is similar is quadratic functions so the input in terms of BTU per thermal unit per hour and when you time the unit price you can get the cost of the, the generation okay so the fuel cost is commonly explained in the quadratic function so basically we use alpha i plus beta i p i plus gamma i p i square so when you involve any valve loading effect so there will be some additional cost function with the sinus functions as and many and some uh, coefficients where your alpha beta and gamma is your coefficients of each generator okay so basically, you learn about the economic dispatch, we use the derivation function, we, we derive the cost function with respect to the power, so you can get beta i over 2 gamma i plus 2 gamma i pi. Okay, so basically this one we will not discuss in this uh, topic because we want to apply the uh, evolutionary functions, evolutionary algorithms to solve the economic dispatch problem directly. Okay, so basically, this is the analysis of the how we want to obtain the the cost functions to minimize the cost functions. So basically, we have a simple when the losses is ignored and we just ignore the generation uh, limitations because each generation have their we call it uh, inequality constraint where there is must be uh, operated between the minimum and maximum point so I think this one is too simple for you 
So just using the uh, we call it uh, quality equations. Okay, we use lambda. But for economic discussion using the evolution algorithms, we will not find the lambda. We just directly to find the power output of the generations by uh, iteratively. Okay. So I think this, this knowledge you can see in the notes later. So what we want to solve here is basically is we want to apply the economic dispatch problem uh, solution using the this one. All these things you can learn in during your undergrad. I think you have learned in your undergrad studies. Okay. So basically, we want to apply directly the. Uh, Evolutionary algorithms into the economy dispatch. So the key point here is your C total or your cost function is your objective function. Okay, so your variables to be optimized. Is your power, power output. PI of each generator. If you have 40 generators, so you have 40 variables. Okay. And then this one is we want to find the minimum cost. But the constraint that we need to consider is the equality constraints, which are the uh, balance load equation which are your summation of your PEI or PGI must be equals to the P demand plus loss. Okay, this one is equality constraints. And the other one is inequality constraint. Which are the generation limits. Okay, so your generation must have limit P min as well as P max. So meaning that when you do the uh, you find to find the optimal value of generation, the value of generation must be operated or you must obtain the value between the minimum as well as the maximum. So that is the economic dispatch is all about. Okay, I think for that's so all for today, uh, for this session. So we will continue later in the next uh, topic of metaheuristic algorithms. Thank you very much.